Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Sanji, I'm a second year medical student studying at the University of Melbourne and I use Chrome every single day. So I found that these extensions save me so much time and they've literally changed my life. So let's get straight into it. So the first extension is Newsfeed Eradicator. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I have access to my Facebook newsfeed, I keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and I don't actually get any work done. So Newsfeed Eradicator solves this problem by literally getting rid of your newsfeed. So if we go back to Facebook, all we're left with is this motivational quote, and this one hits pretty deep. But the good thing is that it only gets rid of the newsfeed. So if we're in any groups, we can still interact with posts that way. And if we want to talk to our friends, we can still do that as well. So we can still do the essentials, like respond to notifications and reply to people. It just stops us from accidentally scrolling for an hour, which is totally worth it. So the next extension is Video Speed Controller. We can see it in this corner here, and it allows us to speed up and slow down our videos. So time is money, and you can use this on most videos on the internet. I literally have not come across a video that I can't speed up. So YouTube, Netflix, your lectures, everything is fair game. So for example, I'm playing this video at 2.5 times speed, which is faster than what YouTube normally allows at two times speed. So there's a lot of advantages to this, Number one, you can play things a little bit faster if you want. And number two, you can play things faster on sites other than YouTube. So I'm cheating a little bit here. The next extension is not really an extension. It's something called tab groups. So not a lot of people know about tab groups because it's a new feature that came to Chrome last year. So essentially what it does is that it color codes your tabs and puts them into groups. So for example, I have my study tabs in blue. I have my play tabs in green and I have these tabs on an assignment in pink. But the really cool thing is that you can hide groups of tabs. So for example, if I wanted to hide my study tabs, I could just click on the study button here and now all of those tabs are hidden. So if I just wanted to focus on my assignment, for example, okay, now all I can see are my assignment tabs. And when I'm done working on my assignment, I can hide these and then go to my play tab and maybe watch some of these videos. So I find that tab groups are a really good way of organizing your tabs on Chrome, especially if you're someone that usually has 100 tabs open at once. So the next extension is Distraction Free YouTube, and it works really similarly to Newsfeed Eradicator. So when you turn it on, it gets rid of the suggested videos on the side. And what that means is that you can focus on the video at hand and you're not gonna go on a video spree. So a common theme here is that by blocking the things that normally get us distracted, we can actually focus on the task at hand a bit better. So I've talked about how to be more productive using Forest in a previous video. So if you want to learn more about that, click on the cards above. But essentially, this is the Chrome extension version of the same app. So Forest is a Pomodoro timer. And what that means is that you can set a certain timer. And during that time, you can blacklist websites such as YouTube and Facebook. During this 25 minutes where I'm planting a tree, I can't access this YouTube video anymore. And if I were to go on Facebook, for example, what it will say is that my tree is still growing. And if I want to use Facebook, I have to give up and my tree will die. And we don't want that. Okay, so the next extension is LastPass. And LastPass is a password manager. And it stores all of your passwords to all your different websites and login details in a single vault under a single master password. And the cool thing is, is that it works across different devices. So it saves me a lot of time filling things in. So let's go through an example. Let's say that I want to log into Google and I want to use this Gmail account, so Sanji Dharma. So what you'll find is that when you enter your password, LastPass comes up with a little icon, you can click fill, and then your password is automatically filled there for you and you can log in just like normal. And if you're like me and you have hundreds of passwords that you keep forgetting, you can go to your LastPass vault using your master password. And let's say that I forgot my password here. I can just click settings here and then I can reveal this password if I wanted to find out what it was. Next, we have Google Scholar. Now, this extension is for all you students out there who find it really difficult to reference and it's too much of a bother to use sites like Cite This For Me. Okay, so essentially, let's say that I wanted to reference this article on COVID-19. All I do is I'd go to the Google Scholar button here, then I'd click the word cite, and we can see that Google has automatically made all these citations in different formats, such as MLA, APA, Harvard, and Vancouver, which are the popular ones. And all I have to do is copy this and then put it into my bibliography at the end. Super simple, and it's made referencing for assignments so much easier. The next extension is Momentum, and I love Momentum because it completely transforms the new tab page. 
So it has amazing wallpapers and new quotes every single day, which means that you get a new look every single day, as well as a little bit of inspiration every single day as well. Personally, I also like to set a main focus every single day. So for example, today is to film this YouTube video. And I think that it's really good to have it here because every time that I open a new tab, I'll see this and I'll be reminded that this is my goal for today. So it also has the weather in one corner. And on the other side, you can save links that you think are really important to you. So for example, I really like to read from this blog called Simple Zen. So if I wanted to read it, all I have to do is click that link and I can get to the blog really quickly. Okay, so the next extension is Teleparty or Netflix Party as you might have heard of it. And this is a really good extension to have during quarantine because while you're stuck at home, you can watch Netflix with your friends and everything will be synced. So what that means is that you can react in real time. So what your friend sees is what you see and therefore it's a quarantine essential. And finally, the last extension is uBlock Origin, which is essentially an ad blocker. But just as an aside, ads are important because they help sustain creators like people on YouTube and you help support their work by watching these ads. But the thing is, is that ads can sometimes be used to maliciously track you on random websites. So what I like to do is I like to leave the ad blocker on, but I leave an exception for YouTube and other sites where I want to support the creators that I watch. Or we could just not go on random dodgy websites to begin with. And so just as an example, when there's ads on the page, we can just turn this on and then all the ads will be gone and you'll only have the content that you want to look at. So that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know if you have any other cool Chrome extensions in the comments below. Like if you enjoyed it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.